what's up guys today i bring you a head-to-head -head speed test comparison between the new iphone 15 pro versus the samsung galaxy s23 ultra in this video we are trying to find out which phone is more powerful and faster in everyday usage scenarios so it's basically the new apple a17 pro bionic versus the snapdragon 8 gen 2. Now, higher benchmarks technically means a more powerful performance, but in real-time use, some devices still manage to outperform their rivals due to better heat dissipation and other factors to do with the design and build quality. So realistically, in real-time, which phone is faster? That is the question we're answering in this video. Now, both phones are fully charged to 100%, and by the end of this video, we shall compare the batteries to see how much we have left. On both phones now let's quickly mention the prices the iphone 15 pro 128 gigabyte base model is 999 and the s23 ultra 256 gigabyte base model is 1249 so s23 ultra is slightly more money now if you like studying the specs here is a quick side by side do go ahead and pause the video if you want to study the specs or otherwise let the games begin. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is a boot up speed test. Okay, so both phones have been switched off. We're gonna power on at the same time. One, two, three. Okay, so the Samsung logo actually appeared first. So it looks like the iPhone made it first. iPhone wins the boot up speed test. So next thing we're going to test is face unlock. See which one's faster. So if we do them both at the same time, I just want to show you this first. Now they both seem really fast, but the S23 Ultra can take you straight to the home screen, whereas the iPhone requires an additional step of swiping up. So it does make the iPhone face unlock seem a bit slow. Now there is a solution iPhone 15 Pro has an action button. So that means we can create a shortcut to the home screen by pressing the action button. And as long as you are looking directly at the iPhone, Face ID should unlock and take you straight to the home screen. So the screen is on standby. We're gonna press the action button for two seconds now. And you can see we're at the desktop. So now we should be able to do a more equal test for the face unlock. One, two, three. Okay, Samsung seemed faster. So it looks like Samsung wins the face unlock test. Okay, so now we're gonna do some real-time speed tests. We're gonna open up the web browser at the same time. One, two, three. That looked pretty much equal to me. So let's scroll up. Okay, we're gonna click on the two-pack article. One, two, three. The iPhone looked like it loaded up a little bit quicker. Let's uh, go down. All right, so let's just tap on this article here. Neck and neck. So web browsing performance seems very similar. We can open up the same articles and they more or less open at the same time. Scrolling does seem a lot faster on the Samsung, as you guys can see. All right, so now we're gonna load up Twitter. One, two, three. Pretty much even. Yeah. All right, so let's just open up Instagram at the same time. One, two, three. That looked pretty much neck and neck. Spotify, one, two, three. iPhone is quicker. Just generally browsing each one. It seems like the same experience there as you guys can see. Yep. All right, so next YouTube, one, two, three. Samsung got there first. And now we're gonna try Netflix, one, two, three. Okay, so Samsung loaded first again. So we've got Dolby Vision and Spatial Audio on the iPhone, and we've got HDR, HD streaming with Spatial Audio on the Samsung. Okay, so next, Amazon Prime Video, one, two, three. iPhone got there first. Okay, browsing seems pretty much similar. The final one for streaming, we're gonna load Disney Plus at the same time, one, two, three. I think the Samsung's gonna get there first, there you go. So Samsung loaded first, open up a video. iPhone loaded up the video first and tap on the video itself. Samsung, Samsung loaded up first. So, so far, general browsing, opening apps, closing apps, it looks pretty even. If one is faster than the other, it's only gonna be a split second or maybe one second difference. Otherwise, pretty much similar experience 
when opening and closing apps. Now let's do something a bit more serious. So I have recorded video on both phones. Uh, both clips are around 16 seconds. They are 4K 60 video on my desk. I wanna save them, so we're gonna export them now. And I'm gonna make sure they are both 4K 60 and MP4 format. So you can see the iPhone wants to export at 71 megabytes. That's the estimated file size. And the S23 Ultra is double, well, more than double. It's 161 megabytes. So even though we've got the same output settings, we're getting a larger file from Samsung. So here we go. Let's see if we can do it quicker. One, two, three. Okay, Apple's winning there. Samsung has raced ahead. Wow, Samsung's really fast, guys. Check it out. 95, it's done. Samsung is done. We're still at 60% here. So Samsung was really quick in exporting a 4K60 video file. Apple, we're still waiting for Apple. There you go. iPhone is done and that's the video there. I'm actually quite impressed with what Samsung just achieved. 4K60, 17 second video and it exported it much quicker. There was a noticeable difference there guys. Uh, there, there was a massive gap there. All right, so now it's time for some gaming. We're gonna open up a bunch of games at the same time, see which one loads first. So first one, Mortal Kombat. One, two, three. I think the iPhone loaded up a second faster. Yeah, iPhone's quite ahead in this game, as you can see. It's already about to load the game. So the game's loaded on the iPhone. We're still waiting for the Samsung. Samsung's also loaded it. So next game we're opening together, Asphalt 9. Ready? One, two, three. As you guys just saw, iPhone loaded up a second quicker. All right, so next game, Call of Duty Mobile. One, two, three. I think Samsung's got this one. iPhone got there first, guys. Samsung looked like it was gonna win, and then iPhone got there first. There was only a second delay there, uh, but iPhone loaded up the game first. All right, so the last game to test, Cover Fire. One, two, three. Samsung got there first, followed by iPhone, both at the same time trying to load up the game. One, two, three. Pretty much the same. Not much between them there with games. All right, we're gonna do a Wi-Fi speed test now, and I'm not gonna do them at the same time because they're sharing the same network. So we do one at a time. Starting off with the iPhone 15 Pro. So the top speed we get in our office is around 500, 550. And you can see the iPhone is pushing that. Wow, 570. Upload speeds, we don't usually get more than 60, 61, 62 max. And you can see the iPhone has achieved 61.5. All right, same test with the Samsung. We're on the same Wi-Fi network. Come on, Samsung, don't let us down. Five, wow, 575 megabits per second. Let's see if we can match the upload speed. Okay, upload speed, I guess not. But look at that, guys. Both phones achieving more or less my top speed. You can see the battery as well right now before the benchmarks. 93% and 97%. Okay, so we're gonna open up Geekbench 6 at the same time. One, two, three. Samsung definitely got there first. So CPU benchmark, we're gonna run the test at the same time. I hope I can get this right. One, two, three. I got it. So I'm just gonna let this run and we're gonna see who finishes first. And then we're also gonna compare the scores. Okay, iPhone has completed the test first. So we're still waiting for the Samsung to finish. We're at 78% on the Samsung. Okay, so interesting results there. The iPhone finished much quicker. We had to wait for the S23 Ultra to catch up. Single core score 2885 versus 1969 and multi-core score 7174 versus 5252. So the iPhone is much faster on paper, the benchmarks, it obviously wins in Geekbench, but it also finished the test quicker. And 2-2 benchmark. So we're gonna do brand new tests on both. One, two, three. Okay, 
Okay, so the iPhone has completed the test first. So the iPhone has achieved 1.42 million and the Samsung has achieved 1.45 million. Very interesting scores, guys. After that benchmark test, battery levels 89% versus 86%. And the next benchmark test we have to do is 3D Mark. So in 3D Mark, we're doing the Solar Bay test. So this test is designed for high-end mobile devices. So let's go ahead and start this up at the same time. One, two, three. All right, so Samsung has finished the test first. iPhone wasn't far behind. So you can see the results. We've got an overall score of 4748 and the iPhone has an overall score of 4613. So the Samsung performed slightly better in the Solar Bay test. I'm also gonna run the Wildlife Extreme test. So here we go, one, two, three. And the results are in, iPhone finished first, S23 Ultra a few seconds behind. So overall score 3472 and average frame rate 20.8 and a slightly lower score in the S23 Ultra 2993 and average frame rate 17.93. So there you have it guys. That was my hands-on speed test comparison between the new iPhone 15 Pro versus Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now you can see after all those vigorous tests, battery levels are quite similar. So iPhone is at 85% and the Samsung is at 82%. Now both phones are also quite warm to the touch, which is expected after what they've both just been through. Now I found the iPhone performance was slightly more powerful than the Samsung in some situations, but only by a split second or two. The Samsung, however, managed to export a 4K60 video much faster than the iPhone. So overall, interesting results. So in everyday use with general operation, there's only a second difference between them. And after spending a week with the new iPhone 15 Pro, my, deci my decision stays the same. The S23 Ultra is still the best smartphone money can buy in 2023. And unfortunately, the iPhone 15 Pro could not change my decision. That's all for this video. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.